trees. Yes, Senator Milne, you'll need to seek leave to move to take note. Uh, I seek leave to um, take note of a statement from the Ambassador of the King of Cambodia. Is leave granted? Leave, leave is granted. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, and I thank the Senate uh, for uh, allowing me to have that uh, opportunity. I note that in the uh, response uh, from the ambassador, uh, he states that the motion which was passed by the Senate was based solely on the views of Mr Sam Ramsey, which are biased and flawed on several points, according to the ambassador. Well, I put to you, Mr Acting Deputy President, that the ambassador is wrong. The information in the uh, motion that was passed by the Senate uh, is correct, and I stand here today to say very clearly to uh, the people of Cambodia that in this parliament we will continue to support uh, the democracy movement. I would like to call for a stop uh, to all the polit political violence that's going on in Cambodia as we speak, uh, especially the police and the army's deadly crackdown on workers asking for better living conditions, starting with an increase in the monthly minimum wage to US dollars 160. Now I want to say here, Mr Acting Deputy President, that the garment workers in Cambodia are working for very low wages. They work long hours and in terrible conditions. Uh, it's got to the point when they actually have in the newspapers you know, the first fainting of the year, which is re referring to hundreds of workers who have fainted because of various um, either the paint spills or some toxic spill uh, in the factories, and it is just shocking. And they have been uh, on strike. There are 600,000 workers on low wages in Cambodia, and uh, they, these um, uh, workers, when they tried to leave to go out on the streets to join others in protesting for higher wages, in some cases they had the, late, the gates locked to prevent them from getting out. You've got companies like Puma, like H&M, like Gap, uh, all employing uh, or getting the benefit of goods from these uh, low-paid workers in Cambodia. And as a result, when they went out on strike, the regime of Hun Sen uh, turned on them and four were shot dead. Live ammunition was used against them and 23 of them were detained. And so I stand here today uh, calling on uh, the government to release uh, those people who are still jailed. Out of those 23 people, 21 are still detained. They should be released. And what's more, the minimum wage, $160 a month, is not an unreasonable wage. And it is wrong for overseas companies to threaten to say that they will pull their factories out of Cambodia if they have to pay an appropriate wage. Well, we have run strong camp uh, consumer campaigns uh, against uh, what happened in Bangladesh, for example, and we will stand up for the workers of Cambodia to be paid decent wages. But we will also stand up for an independent investigation into the serious irregularities which marred the July 28, 2013 national elections and obviously distorted uh, the will of the Cambodian people. We know now from several investigations into those elections last year uh, that the parts of the election were rigged. We had indelible ink that white washed off very easily, and so people voted more than once. We had situations where there, some voters were barred from the ballot offices and other people cast their vote, so we, they were not allowed to vote. We know that there were a whole lot of uh, missing and duplicated voter names, and of course we know that there was uh, 1.2 to 1.3 million names omitted uh, from the voting rolls. Sam Ramsey, the leader of uh, the opposition party there, was not able to vote or stand as a candidate. He had been exi in exile from Cambodia and only allowed back in just before, two weeks before the election as a result of a royal pardon. But, of course, the rules suggested that he wasn't even able to vote. 
So the US State Department called for a transparent and full investigation of all credible reports of irregularities in the Cambodian uh, uh, re election. Human Rights Watch came out and said the ruling Cambodian People's Party appears to have been involved in electoral fraud and they called for an independent commission to investigate allegations of fraud. And that goes on. And so the Australian Parliament stands by our ask for an independent investigation into the serious irregularities in the national elections last year. And we want to make sure that all the civil society and independent human rights organisations in Cambodia, as well as many international observers' views, are respected here. And it is quite wrong. Uh, for this letter from the ambassador from the Kingdom of Cambodia to suggest that this is a biased view from just the opposition party in Cambodia. It is not. It is the view of many observers of non-government organisations and of parliaments such as this, and including the European Parliament, which also passed a very strong resolution condemning the violence that has been going on in Cambodia. And just this last week, Gareth Evans, a uh, former uh, foreign affairs minister uh, here in Australia, came out and condemned the Hun Sen regime and said that they were getting away with horrendous violence in Cambodia. It is time that this parliament took a stand for democracy in Cambodia, for the poor people working in that garment industry so that they get a decent wage and decent conditions in which to work. That is not too much to ask. Uh, and of course, we want to make sure uh, that in standing up for them, we do get free and fair elections and not have the situation that we have at the moment, where in the, in the last election, in spite of all the repression that had gone on, uh, in the final result that was declared, there were 55 seats to the Cambodian National Rescue Party and 68 to the Cambodian People's Party with all those irregularities. And that's why the opposition says that it won the election and if the irregularities had been investigated, that would be shown. And that's why we must have an independent uh, investigation into the elections. And I want to finally say that the Kingdom of Cambodia has referred to the recent minister for the Honourable Julie Bishop, uh, ha who met uh, in the, with the uh, Hun Sen, the Prime Minister, on the 22nd of February, talking, and he allegedly asked for Australian assistance in election reform in Cambodia because Australia has precise intention to be a good friend and partner of Cambodia while deepening bilateral ties. Well, I want to say I do not want to see asylum seekers sent to Cambodia. In the current circumstances, it would be shocking to send people into a regime where there is repression and violence. You know, right there at the moment, there are rules against association, for example, areas where the opposition meet are being um, shut down and people moved on. And just in the last few days, Hun Sen has come out and said that if they uh, lift a ban on association or protest, that he will encourage pro-government forces to come out and protest beside the anti-government forces, which is a recipe for inciting violence, actually, if you want to come down to it. So this parliament must take a strong stand for human rights in Cambodia, for strengthening of the democratic movement, for an independent investigation into the irregularities in the elections last year and to actually stand up for what is right and not to engage with the Cambodian government and trade off our strong stand for human rights if it means some awful tawdry deal on asylum seekers. That would be a shocking thing to do. Instead, we know what we have to do, and that is make a strong stand. And we call on um, Hun Sen to uh, lift the ban on public assembly that's been implemented in Phnom Penh. And we want to make sure that uh, we get from uh, out of jail these uh, 21 people who are currently there, and no one knows exactly what circumstances they are being held in. And we do not want to see a situation where uh, workers trying to protest for better rights are shot down in the street. That is unacceptable, and we need to stand up and say so. And I look forward to Australia calling 
for an independent investigation into the election, and I look forward to Australia getting behind the statement that it made to the United Nations in which it identified, our country identified, those human rights abuses. It's time to take a strong stand against the Hun Sen government. Order. There's a question before the chair. The question is that the Senate take note of that response. All that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. Senator Waters. Uh, yes, Mr Acting Deputy.